Yo, what's up? Alright, pressing on to the dungeon. This is fun, you know. Hope somebody uh, watches this, maybe. Bronze Wand. Shadow Imp. Kill the Shadow Imp. That Imp is dead. Okay, that's interesting. Knolls coming my way. Are they all... No, one of them is... They're, they're not asleep. I'm confused. Okay, that's kind of weird. I'm going to drink a potion of curing to cure me and also cure a little bit of my rot. And I'm going to leave. I can't do invisibility yet, can I? You bet I can. Memorize invisibility. Let's try it. <laughs> it's about a 50-50 shot. Better than that. This is fun. Invisibility. Yes, I fade into invisibility. And I kill all the gnolls, even though I'm confused. I don't even care. Actually, let's quaff a potion of curing again. Yep. There we go. Oh, no. Hmm. Should I leave? Let's see if I can ensorcel you. Yep. Now I really just want to take care of that. Priests is the problem. I think I can handle them if I confuse him from here. Yep, die, die, die. He should be poisoned to death. Now I can take care of these orcs. He's not harming anybody. Yep, he's dead. No, huh? Is this some sort of null fortress? Uh-oh, I'm held. Get out of there. Slip out of the net. Okay, this is kind of weird. Um, Let's throw down a few confuses on these guys. It might wander into the water. No, they stayed out of the water. Very clever, moles. There's a shark. Alright, let's back off. And drink something. Very thirsty. Good. Okay, that wasn't terrible. It was slightly weird with that confusion and that net. I don't like being disabled by that. I'm the one supposed to be disabling people. Here's a shark. They can hit pretty hard, but we might be able to ensorcel him. Right. Right. Yes. Good. Good. Good, good, good. <laughs> Here's an all. We will do that. And now we'll back off, and we're going to get that Null Sergeant is slightly more dangerous than the others, so we're going to turn invisible again and come in. So this is what being a vampire is all about. I mean, I do not have to worry about spell hunger. That's already down to 34%. So I can just cast invisibility all day. Now, you can't cast it consecutively because of the contamination, but you don't have to worry about hunger in the same way other races do. We'll drink you. So that was great. I'll probably cast it some more, but let's see if I can get the most out of this one. Oof. Came out of view. There's a staircase up here. Let's leave. And so, yeah, I'm just going to turn invisible again in a second. It's almost cheating. But hey, it's a game. You know, this game is, is, is a tough game. <laughs> you know, the game sort of cheats too, so you gotta cheat against the game. That's why, I mean, that's why net hack was net hack. You know, you basically have to hack in order to win. You know, you, you take every little cheat possible. So we're gonna go invisible. It's a spell. It's a legit spell. It's a level 6 spell. We trained up our hexes a lot to be able to get this going. So let's kill people now including this electric eel and these bees. The electric eel is what I'm most concerned about. Killing the killer bees. Mm. Now here's a good question. Can I enslave that uh, <laughs> giant spore? Never tried that before. That would be awesome if I turn it into a crazy bomb. Let's try it. It sounds like a sweet idea. Yeah, this is great. Is it going to blow up? Get them all. 
I got two of them. And not even them. Alright, we're gonna lay down some confusion. Confusion. Have them stumble around. Yes, they're gonna drown. This is the plan. He's confused already. He's confused. Just drown already, huh? Frog must die. The frog shall die. Hound, you shall be confused and drowned to death. You are not confused. You are not confused. You should be confused. He struggles to resist, though. And let's uh, leave. Great. Come back down. We'll use invisibility when we need it. I sort of want to find another way in. Sky Beast, no problem. Killer Bee, no problem. We like to go invisible against big groups of enemies. That was kind of annoying. Like here we go invisible. Why not? Invisibility is E. I'm actually going to change that to I. Spells. Like invisibility to be I for invisibility. That's the way I've had it in previous games. So confused, confused me. That is entirely unacceptable. I'm invisible. You can't confuse me. Yep. Here we go. Level ten. Nothing to it. Here's a rune dagger. We'll take it. Hmm. Confuse you and stumble into the water if you want. <laughs> Alright, here's. Oh, yeah, that uh, spore that exploded. It would be kind of cool to use that for extra ammunition. Just drown. All you guys, just drown everybody. I insist. Too close for my liking. Well, that was easy. They all just drowned. You want to drown too? Yep, they all just drowned. Oh well. <laughs> and my rot's mostly gone because I had to drink those potions of curing. I didn't have to, but it was nice to get that rot done simultaneously. Here's a perfect chance to cast invisibility, I think. Although these guys can sense invisible, so let's take him out first. Oh. No. That's annoying. Yeah, he can still see me. But I'll just kill everybody doesn't really matter. I'm still invisible enough to get stabs. I could confuse them if necessary, and there you go. Let's um, identify this potion. Now let's just drink it. Who cares? Potion of poison. Who cares? It's the Orcish Mines. Cool. We can go there. Knowles, invisible. <laughs> I'm going to be doing this a lot, especially in this early part of the game. Later on, it's not so helpful because people can't really see invisible. But it's surprisingly useful, and you'd be surprised. A bunch of stuff that is useless to us. That's a shop, by the way. I mean, it's got food, but we don't care about food. Scroll of Acquirement. Now that is something. What do we want? Hmm. I get the feeling weapon acquirement is going to give me something lame at this point. I think armor is what I want. I mean, I don't really have a lot of good armor. So this is cool. It's sort of like a wish from NetHack, but more um, generic. You get to pick from one of these categories, and it gives you something. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's lame, but in any case, whatever. You know, it's it's free stuff. So I'm going to go with armor. Let's see, hope, hope I get something cool. A pair of embroidered gloves. Makes me stronger. Okay. Whatever. It's a lot better than nothing. I didn't find any boots or anything, did I? Nope. Gloves. Nope. Helmets. Nope. That's it, I guess. Armor in general. Nothing good. So, okay. That's kind of nice. A couple points of strength won't hurt. Let's drink you up, Mr. Snake. No shaman. You shall soon be de-shamanated. 
two-headed ogres. So yeah, I mean, I would have been concerned with that a while ago, but now not so much. Let's get out the old blowgun now, just for old times' sake, and then confusion, and then death. The blowgun was superfluous. I mean, okay, the gargoyle is a little bit tricky. To the point that I'd like to maybe enslave that yak to deal with them. Or possibly enslave the gargoyle. Enslave is on D, right? Yes. Enslave the yak. Attack the gargoyle. Can I just enslave you two? I'm just not enslaving him. Alright, attack these other yaks. And I hopefully he will die. Hopefully he'll die. I might need to run. The gargoyle is dying. Alright, there's a lot of stuff coming at me. I could turn invisible. I forgot about that. I probably should. Let's turn invisible now. Nope. I failed at it, so let's run away. Run away down here. Fortunately, there's nobody here, which means I get a chance to rest up and then cast invisibility again. Nope, didn't work, but that's okay. What's my percentage at with that? 24%, whatever, it could be better. Invisibility works. Let's go. And now we get all sorts of sweet stabs. Sweet stab, stab, EX. They're dead. No problem. They can't see invisible. Anything that can't see invisible will be harmless to us, relatively, I mean, at least in this stage of the game. As long as we get an opportunity to cast see invisible, and that will get much more castable in a minute. Hmm. Bookshop. Alright, this is curious. It's a much better book, much better shop. Hopefully this isn't flashy, because we have to look at this for a second. Unlife is cool. Spatial translocations is cool. We could get Blink. I would really like Blink. Minor Magic has got good stuff in it. Oh, and it's cheap. That might be something we're picking up. I think we're going to buy that right now. Yeah, dude. Hopefully I don't run into another shop that's much better in two seconds, but Minor Magic has got some good stuff. Because I want to learn right now Blink and Repel Missiles. Um, we'll start with Repel Missiles because we've got Deflect Missiles too that we want to start working towards. So we're going to get my Charms up. Air... Uh, maybe I'll get a little bit of air in a second, but I don't want to get too, too thin here. I think just getting my Charms should get it castable. Already it's castable enough just with my spell casting, so um, yeah, let's cast it. Good. Protected from missiles. That's an incredibly useful spell. Eventually we're going to get deflect missiles, I hope, and we want to get it. And I'm not bad with charms, if I had to say. We've got the plus one aptitude for it, which is kind of cool. I wouldn't have expected vampires to be good with charms, really, but hey, we are. You know? <laughs> Who's complaining? I can't help the way I am. Kill this, these fungi. Alright, um, ogre dies. This could be invisible. Also, how long has this video gone at this point? I'm not sure. Let's, um, call this a video and then I'll take care of this in the next one because I really don't want to lose this progress. Alright, thank you. Thanks for watching.